Hello guys and welcome to part 3 from my series about uh, your own home server with Plex, Sonar and Radar. Um, we now configure SEB and ZVD. So it's pretty simple. You select your language, click start wizard. Now I have the server details. Um, for me it's readxusenet.com. I have my username, my password. I use SSL. Uh, advanced settings, the port, connections, certificate verification. You can then test your server connection and if everything succeeds, you can connect. In the first uh, video that I made, we checked out xsusenet.com. This is the provider that I'm using here. There are a lot of different providers that you can use. You can choose your own and just search for their information and put it in. And by the way, this is no uh, paid promotion I just uh, found them through googling and now had no problems since then so basically you click next setup is complete and then you can go to SEP and ZVD and this is like the download client uh, also important to note you can only access it uh, via IP address I tried it with the host name but it's not really working I think you have to change something in a configuration but if you have a static IP address or like a DHCP reservation on your router, it basically makes no difference. So you can access it via IP address and of course the port. And now here I will show you my settings. So here again, the servers. Then also what's really important is the folders. So as you can see here, I have mounted the data folder from my NAS. I always use the container host as name when I integrate something in a container. So basically this is the data storage on my NAS, right? Mm -hmm. And I made this, so there are the temporary folders. Um, also complete folders, I have basically the same path. And if you add this path while you create the, the container, you can now then browse basically. So here we can see the container and because we set it to SFL NAS01, I know it's my NAS and, and I can like select my folders, right? I have the data and also the public where uh, the, the film folder is, right? In general, you have the API key. This is really important if you integrate it after into uh, Sonar and Radar. So copy this for yourself. Yeah, and that's everything you have to configure here on the SEP and ZVD um, container. Now we check Sonar and basically I've already configured it, but I will guide you through the important settings that you uh, have to make. So first of all, you have to uh, add your download client. As you can see, it's like the SEP and ZVD, it's the same. And you have to enter the name, the host, your port, your API key that we copied earlier from here, right? Also, you have your, your username, password. I think this is per default. Then you can also test your configuration and it should always validate. Now you know it's right. Then when you have that, you have to configure your indexer. As you can see here, I have two, NZVNIC and CNZVS. So basically here, you will have the URL, your API key, and what which uh, categories you want. And I can show you again. Basically, you have to make an account on these sites. Um, here you can log in with your username, password. You will get an API key, which you can then use to automate your download. Most of the time to automate it, you need um, a premium subscription. So basically, maybe $20 a year. So it's kind of cheap. You can choose your own indexer. Uh, NZVDIC is more international, scene NZVS is more like for German uh, film. So it's pretty, pretty good to have this. And you have to have an indexer, otherwise you can't download from Usenet. And as a reminder, the indexer is basically someone who knows where the films are stored. So you need them, otherwise you can't download your films. Then after you have that, you can go to profiles and you will have a lot of basic profiles and I made two like uh, 2180p German and English. 
So basically I can later choose in which profile I want to download the film. So as you can see here, I have only enabled uh, 2180p with the language German. You can do it how you want. Uh, be aware though that uh, if you download it in 2160p, that will require much more space than maybe just uh, 1080p, right? That's basically everything you need. Now you could already use it. So basically you can search here for the films you want, the Dark Knight as example. Uh, this one you have to add once and I would add the path from the uh, Plex instance. So for me it's uh, SFRNAS01 public filme and then it will create the subfolder here with the Dark Knight 2008. Um, and the cool thing is if you download it through, uh, from here it will temporarily store the files in the data uh, share that I showed you before and then when it's complete it will sh uh, automatically automatically move it to the public filme so it will be automatically available in Plex as soon as it, uh, it, it finished downloading and it's pretty cool. Then you can set your profile that you did so if I want it in German I can click add a movie as you can see now it's searching but not finding anything and um, you can if you would like to you can uh, click on the film and uh, click interactive search so it will search on the indexers that you have uh, set up and choose one that's matching with your criteria so basically if you don't find the movie right it's not really available in your quality so as you can see here, it's missing, right? It's rejected because German is wanted, but found in English, right? So because I searched it in German, it's currently not available in German, so it won't download it. I click here and it will, it will get uh, into the download queue. So it can take some time because it's on a NAS, it's quite slow, right? And if you can, you can uh, watch it live here. You can see here the speed, it has three gigabytes from 60 and 55 for left you can see an estimate time and you can also see how fast you download it and now it will download and after the download is complete it will automatically uh, be moved into uh, my Plex you can just let it run you can also see here on the activity that it will be downloaded now um, now to sonar it's basically the same setup you have also under download clients you have to also set your set and set bd the same same thing as before right um, also the same indexes most of the indexer also have series and not only films so you can just put them in here also and basically the same thing with 1080p and 210p you can do your own like presets that you want you can search here for the series, basically Dune, right? So you can see, ah, it's already downloaded. Okay, okay. You can see the what uh, exactly got downloaded. If I wanna see, okay, I want this in better quality, I can also do an interactive search. It will select all my indexers and it gives me the results from my indexers. So you can see here, okay, if I want it in German, okay, I can override it and download it, right? It's basically the same setup than it is in uh, Radar. Before you start downloading from the Usenet, please check your law in your country. It might be illegal to do it, so please don't do it. That's it for today. Please let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them.